What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and we have a pretty much every single piece of information about all of the Sugo Fest exclusive characters coming to One Piece Treasure Cruise Japan for the 6th anniversary and oh my god these are 110% going to be some of the best legends in the game. The captain abilities are crazy, their special abilities are very good, they all have super typing which I know a lot of you guys out there that are watching the video probably don't know what super typing is, but to give you guys a quick rundown, basically if you fulfill a condition, you can activate a secondary effect in the middle of a fight and your characters get like additional color affinity, that's basically what it is, um, just an additional effect for free as long as you are fulfilling a certain requirement. All of these legends that we're about to talk about in this video all have super typing and they are extremely powerful. So without further ado, this is probably going to be a long video discussing this, but let's get into the news. So they put in the banner right here. This is the banner for the Luffy Snake Man part one and part two. Each part of the Sugo Fest is four parts, um, will boost or rate boost one of the legends. So part one Snake Man, part two Katakuri, part three Blackbeard, part four is going to be Sabo. So we're going to be talking about each of these characters. All of the information is in here, including all their PvP stuff. Um, I'm not going to be talking about their PvP abilities in this particular video. I'm only going to be talking about their generic abilities. What do they do? I have them all translated here in a notepad. Um, some of the translations was helped to some of the people in the One Piece uh, Treasure Cruise subreddit Discord. So without further ado, I know you guys are very excited for this. Let's start off with uh, Snake Man. So Snake Man is the guy at the top, which uh, was the first character that I translated. So let's go ahead and go through his abilities. So here is the notepad. I'm going to bring it up right here. There we go. So Snake Man is a strength unit. We don't know his classes at this current point in time, but we do know he is a strength unit. His captain ability will boost strength characters attack by five times. This is the debut of a five times multiplier in One Piece Treasure Cruise. And that alone already is absurd. Like a five times multiplier. I honestly didn't think they were going to do it but they did it. <laughs> they freaking did it. Five times multiplied as strength if they have a strength or recovery slot, which is not difficult to do. Um, that's pretty good. <laughs> he then will also boost them by four times otherwise. So even if they don't have a strength or recovery slot, you still get a four times multiplier. That's still very, very good. He then will boost all other types by 3.75. So you can literally run him as a rainbow captain. That You can definitely do that. But you want to be predominantly running strength characters, of course. He then also boosts your entire crew's HP and recovery by 1.3 times. And recovery slots are, tra are treated as beneficial for your team. So, if you're running a mono strength team, this is crazy. And I mean, like, even if there is a character that is a quick enemy, this guy's still going to be doing some pretty serious damage to that character. Especially with super typing activated, which kind of, it doesn't nullify, but it definitely assists in getting through characters with type disadvantage. Super typing will help you with that. So, that's his captain ability. Already one of the best captain abilities in the entire game. I'm personally not a, fa uh, not a fan of him being a strength captain because, again, there are type disadvantages there. Whereas some of the other characters we're going to be talking about, they're going to be boosting another color, being Int, of course, um, and uh, those specific characters characters don't have type disadvantage so those characters in my opinion will be a little bit more useful but overall fantastic captain ability now the special ability snake man 100 times his attack in typeless damage to all enemies that ignores all defensive effects that's huge that's huge and it goes through all defensive effects threshold percent damage reduction damage nullification barriers whatever you want goes through it he then changes all of your crew slots into matching. <laughs> like, what? A full board orb manipulation and a 2.5 times orb boost for one turn. <laughs> Yo, I heard you like Luffy Law, bro. <laughs> so, he's Luffy Law, but uh, he also gives you a full board of matching slots as well. <laughs> like, it's honestly one of the best specials in the game. It legitimately is. Like, a, just a rainbow 2.5 orb boost. <laughs> With a full board of matching slots. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? This is crazy. This is crazy. So, like, just this, just the captain and special alone, this character is one of the best in the game, right? And then he has two, super typing. So, once again, for those who don't understand what it means, as long as you fulfill a certain requirement, you get a certain ability to activate as well as enhanced color affinity. So, normally when you attack with color affinity, or with type advantage, you deal two times damage. But with, with super typing activated, you deal 2.5 times damage instead. And if you attack against type disadvantage, you usually deal 0.5 times your damage. With super typing, it's 0.75 times your damage. So you're actually getting 
more damage no matter what, right? Which is great. So when you activate the super typing, you need to have the requirement of either Ace, Sabo, Zoro, Nami, Usopp, Sanji, Chopper, Robin, Frankie, or Brook on your crew, excluding supports. That is not difficult to do, um, especially with this entire new batch being able to fulfill that. I mean, Sabo being uh, one of the legends, of course. Ace being the PvP character that just came out, and he's very, very good for Snake Man. And then either one of the Straw Hats, which is... <laughs> pretty easy to do there's a bunch of these characters in the game honestly you could run a, a you could run a really trash straw hat on the team and you're still going to be getting a massive amount of uh, boost from this because when you activate the super typing effect he does 75 times his attack in non-type damage to all enemies very good he boosts your entire team's attack by two times for one turn and makes strength or uh, strength characters gain the super typing because that is also the thing as well is that only characters that share the same attribute as the captain will actually gain this super typing not your whole team so that is uh the give and take of, of super typing so if your whole team's strength they'll all gain super typing but the really cool thing here is is this character by himself can grant you a full board of matching slots a 2.5 times all boost and a two times type boost all by himself what <laughs> what and it's 175 times his attack when you launch it all at the same time like yo snake man's op snake man is legitimately op I, i'm really glad that this guy is not an int or a psy captain because not having any type disadvantage at all would be legitimately crazy so there is still the drawback of him not really getting too much um against quick enemies but he's still gonna be doing some really good damage right so that's snake man that's that snake man built into into one unit and he is he is crazy i don't know what bandai were thinking this is absolutely absurd so that's just one character. We still have three others to go through. Um, let's go ahead and move on to Katakuri. So Katakuri, my boy, Mr. Slam Jam, I was so excited when I read because they actually list the special first. And when I read what the special did, I was getting pumped because... Oh, dude, right, let's just go into it. Okay, so his captain ability. Boost the attack of Int by five times when you're below 50% health, four times otherwise, and reduce damage taken by 30%. 30%? What? Dude, this is crazy. 30% damage reduction, five times below 50, four times otherwise. Obviously, it is only for int characters. Snake Man still did boost every other type by a smaller amount. This guy's only boosting int, so that is a pretty big drawback um, when you compare it, but five times multiply is very good. <laughs> this is very, very good. Okay, so Overall, pretty simple captain ability, but it's a very effective captain ability at that. Now, his special ability does 50,000 damage 10 times to random enemies. That's actually pretty good, um, especially if you've got a wide variety of enemies on the field. You can just bam, 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 like just spam out a bunch of 50,000 damage. Pretty nice. Or if you're against one enemy, it's 500,000 damage guaranteed. But then... He boosts your entire crew's attack by two times for one turn and boosts attack against delayed enemies by two times for one turn. Wow, that is very, very good. I love this. I really, really love it. Guaranteed two times attack boost. And if you launch the super typing in the same turn as his special, you can also get a guaranteed two times delayed conditional boost. Because if you are below 30% or, or, or less HP, like 30% or less HP, you can activate his super typing, which delays all enemies for one turn that bypasses all immunity buffs and makes int characters gain the super typing yes guaranteed delay if you're below 30 percent now that might be a little bit tricky to do and i know there are people out there that do not like low hp captains and this is a character that is going to be playing around at those low hps but like if you're below the 50 percent threshold you're getting a five times multiplier if you're below 30 percent you get that multiplier plus a two times attack boost plus a two times um conditional boost all you need to do is get some matching slots and, uh, and uh, you know, uh, with an orb boost as well. And we already know that NL in the batch, the, the NL Ray Recruit, will be changing orbs into matching to some degree. So he's going to be a phenomenal character because he also reduces your crew's HP by 50%. So that new NL is going to be godly for this Cutter Curry. That is for damn sure. Um... I don't think he's better than Snake Man. No way is he better than Snake Man. I honestly do think Snake Man is the best of the batch from what we're seeing so far. But Katakuri, I like what they've done with him. I'm a big fan of this guy. I would love to get my hands on him when he comes to global eventually. I'm a huge fan of what they've done here, especially with the, the fact that they've tried to keep that delay mechanic. I'm a huge fan of that. I like that he's got a gimmick like that. That's very, very, very good. So now let's move on to Blackbeard. So 
a lot of people were uh, theorizing Blackbeard was going to have the ability where he could switch between his Devil Fruits, and I think that would have definitely been a really, really cool idea. However, that's not what they're doing here. They are definitely trying to play into some crazy mechanics in the game. But let's go through it. So he boosts his own attack by five times, first off. That's extremely strong. That is extremely freaking strong. Because remember, he's an int character. He does not have any type disadvantage, which is a very, very big thing for him. He also will boost int character's attack by 4.25 and give them a 1.5 times HP boost. So already, very, very nice. He also drastically reduces your crew's recovery, which I'm not really a big fan of, but reducing your crew's recovery does not hinder healing specials like um hypothetically legend marker even though you wouldn't run him on this team but you can run shirahoshi man sherry for example that could actually work that would be pretty nice actually shirahoshi man sherry to get healing if you did need it but then every time you receive damage blackbeard reduces his own special cooldown by two turns so that's really weird right and we did see that in one of the special animation clips that they've been posting on twitter that um blackbeard has like an eight turn cooldown i think it is an eight turn cooldown which is very very low so every time you tank damage he just keeps reducing his own cooldown. Now, what does his special do, though? So his special ability states that he reduces one enemy's HP by 10% that he ignores all defensive effects. That's okay. The 10% is, like, it's it's kind of irrelevant to a certain extent. But if an enemy has, like, you know, over 20 million HP, that 10% reduction is going to be pretty big. Um, but then he changes his own slot into matching. And depending on how many times this special was launched during the adventure, he'd boost his attack and slot effects for one turn. So this is the thing, is the first time you activate it, I believe, according to the special translations, the first time you activate it, it's two times attack and all boost to himself. The next time is a three times attack and all boost to himself. The time after that is a four times attack and all boost to himself. So this is pretty good. A four times attack and all boost to himself is kind of crazy. Like, Blackbeard himself is going to be hitting very hard, especially with a five times multiplier. The only real problem is, is that as a sub... He basically will see no usage, in my personal opinion, unless if he has some crazy crewmate ability. As a sub, I don't think this guy is really going to be seeing any play. But as a captain, with his special ability in mind, it's pretty good, right? So, yeah, I don't know. Look, I'm not the biggest fan of Blackbeard. And it's funny, because I made a poll about it on Twitter and on my community tab on YouTube. I asked you guys, which character are you most hyped for? predominantly Blackbeard was the winner. I think over 50% of the votes on both of the polls that I made, Blackbeard was going to be the winner. Unfortunately, I'm personally not a big fan of the gimmicks that Blackbeard hosts in this particular Sugo Fest exclusive character. Look, I'm not a big fan of the way that this looks right now, but his actual application in game might be absurd. Like he legitimately might be one of the best legends in the game, just because if you get that four times attack and orb boost, plus this, plus everything else that you can surround him with, this could legitimately be overpowered as hell. At the moment, on paper though, I'm not too, I'm not really too into this. I'm not too into it. Maybe, let me know down below in the comment section. Maybe you guys are. But I think that they could have done a little bit better here. Um, but as I said, this four times is no joke, right? Because most characters that boost their own attack, like if you look at like Stampede Luffy, Stampede Luffy boosts his own attack and orbs by 2.5. And we already know how much damage Stampede Luffy does. And he's got a 4.5 times captain. This is... A four times multiplier instead of 2.5, and a five times captain instead of a 4.5. This guy's gonna be hitting really, really hard, but I'm personally not the biggest fan of characters that focus damage on themselves. I much prefer if they boost the whole team, but that's just me. Let's talk about his super typing. So his super typing requirement is that his own attack has to be 500 times more than his base attack. Very absurd requirement, but basically what it means is, is that you have to try and enhance his attack and orbs um to try and get his actual attack stat to be higher than his base attack by 500 times um so if we pull up the calculator real quick and let's say hypothetically he has 2000 he's probably gonna have a bit more than that um and then if you multiply by 500 so his actual attack stat has to be over 1 million now you could easily achieve that i think with the three times and four times you'll definitely be reaching it but then when you activate his super typing for one turn, boost his own base attack by 1000, reduces all beneficial effects on the enemies for one turn. This is huge because if I'm reading this correctly, if it reduces an enemy's beneficial effect, if they've got um, damage threshold, if they've got a barrier, if they've got um, you know damage reduction, damage nullification, an attack boost, healing mechanic, end of turn damage, any sort of buff that's on the enemy side of the field, he removes one turn of it. I think that's actually really good because there are certain circumstances where the enemy will have some sort of buff and you have a character that can only remove hypothetically four turns of it and if they've got a five turn buff that's really annoying 
So if you can just have this guy remove one turn of it and then run another character that removes three or four turns of it to fulfill the condition to remove all of it. Like, this guy could actually see some pretty interesting play with this super type mechanic. Very, very interesting. And of course, int characters will gain the, uh, the super typing. Blackbeard's interesting. He's not my favorite, but again, as I said, when he's actually shown in game, he might be legitimately OP absurd, and I think he probably will be, but as, as it is right now, not my favorite. Um, let's scroll down to the last character, which is going to be Sabo. So Sabo, his captain ability boosts the chain multiplier by 1.5 times. Strength characters will receive a 4 times attack boost, a 1.2 times HP boost, and recover 0.5 times his recovery every time you hit a perfect. It's a pretty straightforward captain ability. It's extremely strong. Uh, a 1.5 times chain multiplier with a 4 times captain is very good, by the way. He's going to be hitting extremely hard. And even in those situations, where you are inflicted with those chain debuffing mechanics like a chain lock or something like that or chain coefficient reduction you've still got a four times multiplier so you are still going to be hitting very hard kind of opposite to like v2 mihawk kuzan v2 sanji and stuff like that that if their chain gets locked or reduced the unit kind of does no damage because they've got a very small attack boost with a really big chain boost the other way around with a high attack boost and a small chain boost is probably a little bit easier to deal with and i just prefer this style a little bit better but overall he doesn't seem too crazy he's going to be strong he's definitely going to be strong but he just doesn't seem that as, that, that as exciting compared to the other characters that we just talked about his special ability will boost color affinity of strength characters by two times for one turn that's really good if during that turn you hit three perfects boost color affinity of strength characters by two times again and boost chain multiplier by 0.1 for one turn very very good it's a good 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 special um multiple turns of a two times color affinity is substantial that's really good but that's the problem is it it's only for strength characters um so this is only going to be seeing usage against dex enemies um but when you really think about it though uh this on top of super typing which already enhances your color affinity by a pretty good margin basically this sabo against any dex enemy is instantly dead right like any dex enemy will cower in fear against this sabo but that's the thing this sabo is probably only going to be amazingly good against dex enemies whereas against every other enemy he's like yeah he's just okay he's just okay the chain boost is very nice though now his super typing requirement states that you need to have either luffy ace koala or rebecca on your crew that excludes the supports and what he does he boosts your chain coefficient by 1.25 for one turn from what i the way that i think this this might be very similar to like Sanji and Judge's swap effect. I think it might be, but we're not 100% sure. It boosts your chain, uh, chain coefficient by 1.25 for one turn, adds 100 times his attack as tap timing bonus for one turn, and makes strength characters gain super typing. Um, this is very good. Uh, tap timing bonus, chain boost, chain boost there, color affinity. Like this guy, as I said, against dex enemies, they're going to just die. They are going to melt against this guy. Outside of that though, I'm not the biggest fan of this Sabo though. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below about this Sabo, but I'm not the biggest fan. But there we go. So, there we go. Those are all the fourth, uh, the, the fourth, the sixth anniversary legends for One Piece Treasure Cruise Japan, man. There you go. Snake Man is the best one by far. Snake Man is the best one. And I think a lot of people were going to be predicting that. Snake Man's easily the best one of the four. Now, it really comes to which one's the next best. It's either Blackbeard or Katakuri. See, Katakuri is very situational. You have to keep your HP low in order to get his super typing to activate, in order to get your two times conditional boost, in order to get your five times multiplier. Whereas Blackbeard is, uh, is going to be mainly centered around himself. But saying that though, Blackbeard is going to be hitting so freaking hard. I cannot wait to see how much damage this guy is going to be dealing because you get a guaranteed matching slot with him. Uh, the four times multiply with this and... Dude, I think Blackbeard's going to be crazy. The more, I, the more I think about it, I do think Blackbeard is going to be kind of crazy. Plus the 1000 stat boost. Plus you can remove beneficial effects on the enemy. Especially against... Uh, if you're against a Psy boss, Blackbeard is going to absolutely pummel that guy to death. Holy crap. And cut it, Curry. My man, Mr. Slam Jam, coming through. So there you go. Let me know down below in the comment section which of the four is your favorite. Um, I think a lot of people are going to pretty much assume here that, yeah, Snake Man is the best one. Uh, even just looking at it, just, just Captain Ability alone, he's the best. Special Ability alone, he's the best. He's got a fantastic super typing effect as well that's very easily to um, just fulfill the conditions for. 
So there you go. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Which of the four is your favorite of the Sugo Fest exclusive characters? This Sugo Fest is going live on the 12th of May. Cannot wait for this to go live for people to summon. Just, I want to see gameplay of these characters. That's mainly what I want to see. I want to see gameplay of these characters and see how good they actually are. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. And if you guys did, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But other than that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.